All right, we are at Forest Lakes. I'm Robert Newman, and uh, you are looking at Pam Dent, and we're headed into, I think I've already said this, but Forest Lakes, which is a community in and around the Charlottesville area. Pam is a lifetime resident of Charlottesville, and she's doing these tours, uh, like a large quantity of tours, in the communities in which she gets asked the most questions about. She's been a real estate agent for quite a while. And the places that we're, we're touring are places that clients have either bought homes, sold homes, or just simply asked her to go look at homes over the years. So here we are in another part of Forest Lakes called Gateway Village. Um, we're driving through. So Pam, why don't you tell us a little bit about these neighborhoods that we're in? Okay, so at the front of the community, you saw shopping, you saw a shopping center, grocery store, you know, all the amenities close to Route 29 and the airport. And then this section is a section of attached homes. And um, most are two story, except for the very end ones, which are, which are one story with first floor bedrooms. Um, the community, Forest Lakes community, has a mix of attached homes and single family detached. Forest Lakes is in two sections, Forest Lakes North and Forest Lakes South. Both are similar and we are touring Forest Lakes North. Um, there are currently two detached homes on the market priced at um, $399 and $495,000. 31 detached homes sold in the neighborhood in 2019 and priced from $302,000 to $599,500. Looking at attached homes, currently there are not any attached homes on the market, but there were a lot last year. 18 attached homes sold in here. Um, in 2019 and um, just a second and I will show you what the price point was across and they range from 200,000 to 279,000 both of the um, sections of Forest Lakes have um, swimming facilities and this has you can see the soccer fields and we're going to go back drive back here to where the um, clubhouse and pool is and there are also tennis courts and you can see that the tennis courts have lights which is pretty pretty cool if you work you can come home and play tennis at night and now we'll be able to get a view of the of the um, swim complex, a playground, um, the uh, pool house, and pavilion. Both of which, um, you know, residents can also rent for for parties. So they're really really nice facility, and you're overlooking an attractive. is quite a large neighborhood. It's got a lot of a lot of sections and we're gonna turn it into a little bit of how many, when you say a lot of sections, how many sections? Oh Lord. <laughs> I don't even know, but it is huge. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take this moment to say that there's north and south. And we are not gonna do both sides. Of and the they're community. both big. And they're both big. And we're in north, am I correct? Yes. Okay, we're in north. We are not gonna do a tour of south. My suggestion for anybody: the, the sides of the community look the same. Property prices are relatively the same. So we didn't feel like we had to do both. But I am gonna say, if for some reason you just absolutely think that you would 
like to see so you can drop Pam a comment and convince her on another day or another weekend to come back out here and tour the southern side you can see how big this is there is 15 16 different sections of forest lakes uh, just listed on the sign so Pam is not kidding when she says this is large <laughs> just, no, just no, to say. We're not going to, but we're going to just drive into probably here down Steeplechase and maybe one of the ones across the, across the street. And there are multiple um, also communities with attached homes. And the attached homes, some are, you know, slightly different styles. They may have a pond. Um, so every, everything is just a little bit different. Um, there is a area in Forest Lake South where, where you're gonna find um, some bigger homes, uh, more expensive homes. Um, so there is, there is a variety of price points. Ranging from, you know, the 300s up into probably 650. This section goes on back, and as you can see, there are a lot of mature trees in here. Um, and then, uh, you know, uh, nice wide streets coming back in. And we're going to go across this street here. Um, and we'll go turn down into the Edgewater area. You can see the signs, the houses, it all looks very similar. Chelsea, Edgewater, they are similar. I'm sure there's differences in floor models, pricing, but honestly this is such a large community. At, cer at a certain point you either have to call a realtor and ask some questions um, or you're going to have to drive out here yourself if this is resonating with you in terms of what we're looking at. Yeah. And, and there are usually homes for sale in here. There's a uh, variety of home styles, price points. You know, again, um, and again, it is uh, convenient to Route 29, which is um, we're north of Charlottesville. That's the road that heads on up to DC. And there is um, also some people are going to be working up farther up Route 29, maybe working for Ninjik or DIA or um, one of one of those larger employers. And if they were, this would be an extremely convenient place to to live. I'm, um, I'm loving the size of this, this community, but the, from what I'm observing, while there is a little bit of diversity, it's not huge. It is, does seem to be a more established community, so I'm sure that with the size of this particular community, you could probably find things like fenced yards, not fenced yards, decks, no decks, um, all sorts of different amenities and different differentiations plus some people have done things like added in built out shacks and tool shacks and all sorts of things depending on what your interests are inside this area there's definitely some homes that have as as we're filming right now it's pam's daughter on the camera this is autumn woods another section of the community uh ridgefield is across the street um but you can get a, get a sense of homes there's also trails here I'm seeing signs for trails and I'm seeing some people have done artistic things in the yard so there seems to be a very diverse community in terms of the people that live here um, and of course you can see across the way there's still as there are in so many of the communities we've looked at nice wooded sections in the back of the homes um, 
Pam is putting a lot of her time, energy, gas into doing these tours. Um, in total, we'll spend four days and 30 some odd hours driving through neighborhoods. So we're hoping that if you see something that you like or get a question answered that, that no other data anywhere else answered for you, that you'll do us a favor and click that like button if you have a comment about how we could do this better or give you better information, please just leave or drop a comment for Pam. I've known this lady for a lot of years. I, I don't think I know anybody who's more service-based or interested in being helpful to the people that are looking at her website or YouTube channel. So if you give her a chance, she'll probably add it to her to-do list and eventually get around to producing whatever it is that you want to see done. Thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Thank you.